Welcome all my fellow feature outlaws on the NKKWG. Got a very special opening for you today. This is what I've been waiting for for a long time. We're going to open up that first edition Phantom Darkness blister that I got right here. Can we pull first edition dad here today? I don't know if there's any retail difference or whatever in these blisters compared to other sets. Usually by Gladiator's Assault, it did have a little bit of difference. You couldn't pull certain cards, but I'm hoping by Phantom, maybe they just didn't care. We pray for anything. Anything. Honestly, a, like a Dark Creator would make me just as happy as well because I love that card. Well, we also have six Phantom Darkness Unlimbs. I chose the three heaviest packs out of the set that I had and the three lightest. We're gonna we're gonna play some tests here. We're gonna do some experiments, find out if the heaviest are just supers, find out if any of the lightest are secrets because this is where the weird era started, where like around Strike of Neos, where sometimes the secrets are the lightest packs. And that lasted till like early 5Ds, don't know why. I'm not gonna ask questions. But we also got a bunch of packs here today as well. We got three Duelist Nexus, two Battle of Legends, Monsters of Venge, five Soul Burning Volcano, two Dark Vo uh, Dark Saviors, two Hidden Summoners, one Duelist Alliance, and five Hidden Arsenal. Two. We got a lot of potential here today. I am excited. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, don't forget that sub, that bell, that like. Leave a comment below. Win this Moja promo pack. It's my last one too. It's my last Raging Battle promo pack of Moja. Moja, Moja, Moja. Leave a comment below. Tell me what your favorite pull was here. And uh, let me open up the blisters real quick, and then we'll get right into this, because I can't wait any longer. Alrighty, blisters are open. Let's get right into this. I can't wait any longer. We got a nice timeline set out before us. Plenty of old and new today. Can we pull a ghost and a dad, maybe? A ghost and a dad, maybe? Salem and Great Rage. There's only one good card in this set, and it's actually one ultra that's worth like 40 bucks. Salem and Great Raging Phoenix or something like that. Oh! Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. That's actually like a dollar or two. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. It's something. But uh, we're definitely opening this set first because, you know, it's the, it's the lowest of the low. And we expect nothing but foulness. Nothing but fire foul. Maybe a little hot foul. Maybe a little ghost. Maybe you could surprise me. But uh, I'm kind of not expecting it. Salamagrate. Salamagrate. Volcanic Hammer. Salamagrate. <laughs> That's new theme song. Salamagrate. Salamagrate. Volcanic Hammer. Fire Hammer. Fire Doom. Fire Salamagrate. Salamagrate Roar. Did you like Salamagrate? Now I want, like, salmon. Salomon. Salomon? Salmon, great. Great salmon. Much good with tartar sauce, even though it's not. You want just fucking simple garlic butter. I don't know about you. Just simple garlic butter. That's it. Maybe some onions. On top. But I like onions on everything, so other people may not agree with that one. Volcanic Shell. We're burning through these ones real quick. Plays Accelerator Reload. We got two more. Then we'll do some Hidden Arsenal. Do. And then we'll open like one light and one heavy every like 12 packs-ish or something like that. Something like that. Oh my god. I hate when I do that so much. My thumb is too big. Too large. I am too massive. Also, I just realized we went one for like 10. That's how bad these blisters are. That's the, like that's that's how bad. That was one for ten. One for ten. Why even bother? Like, why are you a set? Make me sick. Already hidden arsenal two. Got some solid hits in it. Can we get a natty beast? Maybe a Dolorian? Nope. That's a windmill. Flame veil, baby. Alley of justice. Jurassic protops. That sounds like almost an unpleasant word. Miss Valley of Apex Avian. I'll take that, dude. That's about five bucks. That's one of the better pulls. Such good card. Omni the Gate. So annoying. So friggin' annoying. Worm Lynx. And a baby something that I forgot to look at because I was too distracted by the bird. The Boyd. Let's pull another Natty Beast. Nope. Die Zojo of the Ice Barrier. I feel like that's... I don't see that one too often, so maybe it's good? Maybe? Naturia Rose Whip. I know there's like two Naturias that are worth a buck or so. Come on, Abby's Dulorian, where you at? Jurassic Ganganto. That's not whatever the card in the back is. It's upside down. Genetic or Gen X Doctor. Genetic Doctor. Genetically predispositioned to make sure you do don't make it. Thermal Gen X. This is a weird looking card, but I love it, and I feel like I've never seen it before. Flame Bell, baby. Ally of Justice. Those were together. That was the same pack. That was 100% the same pack. There was someone who did not care in distribution. But we got a Miss Valley Apex. Not bad. We'll open up these three Nexus and then we'll open up some Phantom. You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Crimson Dragon. Core Century. Nope. Fucking Dino. Rex. Rex Raptor. God, he's so bad. He's just... He's not great. 
Not a great player. Never been good. Super heavy. Animal candle. <sighs> Usually it's the other one. Usually it's Angelica. Dual Nexus always has to give me something. But it's usually one of the lower ones. <laughs> oh god, that would have been ma that would have been uh, made me very happy, like six months ago, because it would have been like twenty bucks. Still a decent pull, and it was still two for three, because it's Duelist Nexus. Okay, all right, not bad. We're definitely about average right now. Could be better, could be worse. This uh, could change real quick, though. Do we do light than heavy? We probably do light than heavy. Let's test the theory. Test the third Phantom Darkness. These are Euro, by the way. Can I get a Euro dad? Has he been... Is that where he's been this whole time? Gemini Trap Hole. Fire Trooper. They're so slick, dude. Double tag team. Blue Thunder T45. Call of the Earthbound. Atlantean Pikeman. Imprisoned Queen Archfiend. Cyber Ouroboros. And Gladiator Proving Ground. These cards just feel perfect. They smell perfect, too. I can't lie. All right. Light pack was... I mean, I can't say it was deceiving, because that might just be the way it is. But hopefully there's, like, something in them. Maybe. All right. Heavy pack. Let's get something. Simsar Lotus. Neospatian. I don't know if it'll be before or after. I think it's after, but sometimes it's, like, weird. Deep Sea Macro Dream. Failed Commander Raz. Okay, it's a super rare, because, of course, supers are always heavy. But that is... I mean, at least it was something. At least, <laughs> look at the Duelist Genesis one. Heaviest pack we had. You get nothing. Okay, one for two. One for two. I'll take it. And honestly, I just want all the luck to be in that first edition blister. Hidden Summoners. This set is mostly garbage. But I like it. I've always liked it. Defender. Spectral Sword. It just has cool cards. <coughs> the Winged Mayakashi. Even though I hate the Mayakashis. Summon one, and you're instantly at a level 11 synchro. Ultra polymerization. Why is that the darkest? This is the darkest card I've ever seen. Phoenix oh. Wind Wind Blast. Yoko, the graceful Mayakashi. Isn't that? It's the level 9 one. So maybe it's a dollar. It might be. I have no idea. We'll find out together later when I edit. Monstrous Revenge. You gave me a 25th earlier in the week. You want to do that again? Just not Hydra or whatever the hell? Maybe not Hydra this time. It's oh, I pulled three. Maybe it's it's at least two. It might be three. Ghost Water Tentress. That's at least a buck. It would probably be more if they didn't reprint her eight thousand times, but uh, they did. Dark Saviors. Uh, ooh, please, that might be a buck. Red Baron. What's up, dude? Red Baron. Horn of the Phantom Beast. Mirror Force. Sky Striker shirt. And not bad. Sky Strikers. Went up a little bit last summer, so maybe this is a couple bucks still. Maybe. Pachapri. So far, this opening has been slightly above average. Slightly. <clears throat> Hornet drones. That's a good one. Shizuku. That's a good one. Vampire. Dina. Fur for hire. I don't know if that's a good one. I'm not sleeving it because I don't know. I don't know. Duels Alliance. We only got one pack. The set is deceptively stacked. Jesus Christ. Can you at least open properly? Can we get something? Maybe. Swordfish, Cloud Castle. Hey, we got a secret rare. Are you kidding me? That's a gorgeous card, too. Magical Spring. Draw a number of cards equal to the number of face-up spell trap cards your opponent controls. Then discard a number of cards equal to the number of face-up spell trap cards your number you control until the end of your opponent's next turn. After this card activates, spell trap cards your opponent controls cannot be destroyed by a battle of card effect. <laughs> it, I mean, had to like do a second take there. They just, they just say by battle or card effect, and then I'm like, oh yeah, trap monsters. They actually thought about it. Okay, one fact magic and we got a secret. That's a bit of a pick me up right now. Right here, right now. Now we're into the main event. We'll put that right over there. Here's where we could go from like average to one of the best openings ever. One sec, water. All right, let's have some fun. Let's do one light, one heavy, back and forth. That's the way we go. My, uh,. My uh, theory that there might be anything in the light packs is probably not correct yet, or at least in this set. Vengeful Shinobi, Destiny Hero Departed, Hate Buster, Rainbow Veil, a uh, nope. I'm uh, sensing, I'm sensing three packs of rares. That's what I'm sensing here. 
But can we get more than a super rare? Maybe. More than a super? Obsidian Dragon. Cybernetic Zone. Blue Thunder. Future Samurai. Elemental Hero ah! Storm Neos. That's one of the best supers in the set. I'll take that. That's that's pretty sick. I'm guessing all these heavy packs are just supers. Why are supers so heavy? It's annoying. It's annoying, but that's two for four. 50%. And that's what we were hoping for. First edition pack. God. We pray. Hey, Darius. Good common. What's up? Spell Chronicle. Not a good common. Gladiator Beast. Twinkle Moss. Dark Spirit Art Greed. I actually like this card. And a Cannon Soldier MK2. You contribute two monsters to inflict 1,500 damage to your opponent. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Dunker. Dimension Explosion. That's what we thought. Uh, well, we're probably about to get three supers, but at least that lets me know that maybe the ultras are like a step down or so. I mean, I'm probably going to end up opening them all, so it doesn't matter. That's half the fun. There better be a secret in there. Why did it be Sandal? Obsidian Dragon. Cybernetic Zone. Uh-oh. Uh, ooh, Super Poly. I'll take that. Oh my god. In the beginning of the end, this pack is amazing. This pack is amazing. The darkest ultra rare there's ever been. You can't see it, dude. I used to try. I like. I've always wanted to use. I've always wanted to make that card useful, and no matter how hard I tried, it's just too specific. But my god, that was an amazing pack. Super Poly is like a seven dollar rare. That was amazing. That instantly brought us up to like eight eight point five. No ultimate rare or anything yet, but that was a great... That was... Wow. <laughs> Beginning of the end. And Super Poly. Uh, the time is now. If this was a blister of a new set, it'd be one pack and no one would give a shit. But because it's a blister of one of the best sets of all time, back from 2008. Let's see if there's any... Uh, 878. Uh, that's a European pack, so it's definitely not going to be the same. Oh, here we go, bros. Can we pull a first dead dad? Probably not. Can we pull a first dead anything? Hopefully. And yes, card breaker. Hit me up for the commons, because I already know you're going to as soon as you see this. Dimension explosion. What is happening down here? What is going on? What is happening? That's weird. We got extra print. We got extra lines, dude. We got extra cuts. Tell me that means we have something in here, because usually that happens when we get something. Armored Cy Cybern. The Immortal Bushy. I don't think we did all that attacks. Another Super Poly. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's that's at least a hit. <sighs> Gladiator Proving Grounds. Cybernetic. No. What was that? We had extra filth. Super Poly First Edition is probably like pretty good. If it's like seven to eight bucks in unlim, I gotta imagine it's like hopefully fifteen in first edition at least. I don't know why I'm I don't know why I keep doing that. That's probably weird. But uh Otherwise, this was still a great opening. It did unfortunately we didn't find dad or anything crazy. But uh yeah. I'd still say this is like an 8.59. First edition super poly that's the best rare of the set by far. So I couldn't have asked for a better rare at least. I wish it was a hollow. Oh, I hope y'all enjoyed. That was a big opening. I'll see y'all tomorrow with another big one. We're doing Crossroads of Chaos, so don't miss it.